And um, and women can do both, as men can do both. Like we each have masculine and feminine within us. We just tend to have like a more dominant energy as our core or our sexual energy, which is kind of what like I do and what I look at. Um, and sometimes, especially with like like our cultures and everything that's going on, um, like women can masculinize their energy and men can feminize their energy, and then we can put another. You can, it just it, it it can just layer up. And then our energies are kind of all over the place instead of like crystallized. And it's not that like, I think having a, a level of independence is healthy. Like you need to have your autonomy. Um, but if that becomes something you use to guard your heart, um, then you're gonna have trouble attracting like, masculine men or men of distinction. Um, because men can feel that like, that hyper independence and they usually feel it as a closed heart, right? And so it's not actually about um, having ambition or having drive or wanting um, to cultivate something in your career. Cause I think there's so like, like what I do, I find so much purpose in what I do, right? Um, but I make a huge point to like keep my heart open and my receptivity open and my femininity like deepening. Um, but if you're not doing those things, you can kind of harden and create walls and create shells and naturally men will be drawn to women who don't have those walls up. Mm -hmm. 